WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a pleasant, very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. you got the Dow up 202 points, a half percent, a quarter percent for the S&P, or 12 points. The Nasdaq is flat. It's off two points. The Russell's up six points. The semis are down 12 points. That's about a three-tenths percent move to the downside. Gold's up 10 bucks. Silver's up three pennies. Light sweet crude is off 57 cents. National gas up eight cents, a 30-year bond. Down one point and four ticks. She's printed out at 123, even Stephen. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand corner. We've got the ES mini. What do we have going on? We had four consecutive closes to the downside. We're going to get a one or two day bounce out of this. We take a look at spot volatility. Index. The two day bounce is more likely if we see a close below the 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 1388, prices trading at 1388. So it's kind of thinking about it. Does it want to? Add fuel for the bulls, or does it want to disappoint them? Well, watch that spot volatility next. The NQ also may be having a one or two day reprieve out here after four consecutive days to the downside. The US dollar, beautiful rally right up into resistance. Gotta love having these profiles out there. 102.26 is a key resistance level. Price closes above that. That suggests a further rally, with its most recent highs being the price target. That's up in the 103.87 level. Goldilocks, just like the dollar held resistance, gold held support. The bottom of its profile, that's at 2041. Silver, it's taken its P's and Q's from the dollar and gold out there. No bottoming pattern price below profiles, but it has not taken out its most recent swing point that it's trading into from December 13th. Watch that low at 22.78. Light sweep crew, just a good old-fashioned consolidation between profile levels, although price has never made it up to resistance, which is at the 77.55 level, but support is held 70.14. In the case of natural gas, beautiful rally, and it ran right up into resistance. That's a TD nine count breakdown level. Now, we do know that we were anticipating natural gas to form some type of significant bottom around the February time frame. It's very possible that that's already unfolded and what you'd be looking at doing is buying some type of retracement here. Mm -hmm. Finally, the 30-year Treasury out there just consolidating with inside its profiles is testing its bullish structured profile support area. That is between the range of 122.15 and 123.02. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thanks so much for joining us and have a great day.